is Elmi Rico TV, man. And I'm back with another video, man. Y'all see what we got going on. DDG goes off on Joe Budden in response to his comments on the breakup with Holly Bailey. So you guys know what time it is, man. Brand new to the channel where you've been watching videos on the channel, but not yet subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button right now as y'all see I'm on the grind at 7K. And hopefully I hit that very soon. And also don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys get notified when I drop new videos. With that said, though, man, we're going to go ahead and get this video started now. Hayden, call him Joe Budden. Now, in all seriousness, though, um, bro, this is just a prime example of um, just an age gap. You feel what I'm saying? And this is why a lot of people would never take DDG serious as a rapper because no matter I what, I feel like it's, it's honestly because he a YouTuber, he though. He gonna be known but y'all comment down below what y'all think it is and why people don't really take his rap career too serious. It's crazy, but DDG shouldn't even really get that mad, bro. Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, bro. It's Look at Jay here, y'all. Back with another video, man. And today, y'all, we got a crazy and different video to talk about. Now, it seems like in today's classroom, y'all, we got uh, Joe Budden and DDG on the roster. Now, these are two guys I don't really ever put on the roster, but I'm trying to do more than just strictly rap stuff. I'm trying to just, like, start posting content, period, because y'all know I'm going to be gone for four days. Now, it seems like Joe Budden said some things about DDG and Halle breakup on social media and DDG wasn't feeling it and he went on to Twitter and tried to go off and the internet is starting to clown him. Now we're gonna talk about it and I'm gonna show y'all everything but real quick bro y'all know my routine bro hit that like button bro and also man comment tap in if you tap in down below and smash that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I drop a video and I can just keep y'all updated on this situation. As I said, bro, we got Mr. Joe Budden and um, rapper slash YouTuber DDG on the roster. Now, y'all don't know, DDG name has been trending all over social media for whatever reason because he broke up with his girlfriend, Hallie. Now, y'all know Hallie. A lot of y'all may not know DDG if you didn't grow up watching YouTube, but y'all know Hallie, and that's the girl off the channel. And they broke up. Nah, as y'all see in there, he went on to say... And y'all can pause it, too, and read this. I'm not going to pause and read everything word for word. Other, you know, the typical uh, dear supporters and friends thing, the people were, like, kind of mad at, bro, because they just had a baby, and then now they split up. Now, me, partially, I didn't care. Why? Because, bro, people get broken up with every day. I could care less about if DDG get broken up with. I just, I'm getting out of a relationship myself. Y'all don't have no sympathy for me. It's life, bro. It's and that's facts, because it's like... A lot of people really be looking at these online relationships and be thinking that's what their relationship is supposed to be. And they really don't be knowing what's going on behind the camera for real, behind the scenes and these people's personal life. So with that said, man, y'all only seeing what they want y'all to see online. But behind the scenes, we don't know what's going on with these people for real. So. But that said, man, I feel like that's where a lot of people set their own personal relationships up for failure. But other than that, y'all comment down below how y'all feel about that. But let's get back to the vid. Is what it is, and to be honest with you, celebrity couples don't last long because it's not. I definitely long say long facts to that, that though. Money, looks, and clout, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Now, Some of these relationships only the last three years. And people felt like he was hating, and yeah. Who the f is DDG? <laughs> <laughs> and, and why am I supposed to care about his thoughts on anything? Oh, I'm very God. happy that they have broken up, so I don't get to keep seeing this name attached to this girl's name when I don't know him for nothing as a standalone. And for me, it's important to know people based off their own name and merit of what they have done. Every time even. I see his name, it's attached to hers, and it's typically in some type of clout chaser fashion. So that makes me look at him a different way, and hopefully I get to look at him a lot less now that they've broken. And I feel like he definitely could have just did his research if he honestly, truly say he don't really know who DDG is. Like, if you don't really know who he is, he is just take a five-second search on the internet, just look him up and see what he attached to, and, oh, this is what he doing, this is what he known for, he been doing YouTube, okay, cool. And then just leave it at that. But honestly, I don't really see, like, why he got so much energy like this towards DDG, though. So y'all comment down below if I'm missing something, though. But other than that, man, it's just crazy. But let's get back to the vid. She's extremely high profile. She's high profile. Very high profile. I'm very talented. And you but. saying her head game is trash. You gonna go get their own account. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Nah. They gonna go find out on their own, number one. And number two, if it was that trash, 
Why you snatch that cherry so fast, my boy? <laughs> wow, that's comments right now, though. It's crazy. That cherry didn't levitate long. Before you got in action, DDG. See, it's like the way he's been saying everything so far is just sound like a hater like i don't know why he got this type of energy right now but other than that man we already know how joe button does things and be on the internet and stuff we already seen how he's been in different altercations with other people and stuff like that so we already know how he's gonna come off and talk about people and stuff like that but it's just like literally sound like hate though, man. So with that said though, man, that's how I look at it. But y'all comment down below how y'all feel about it. But let's get back to the video. What does DDG stand for? Daryl Dwayne Granberry. Yeah, your name Granberry. Know <laughs> <laughs> so what my thing is with these that's on the rise and they want to go get with the chick with some notoriety that's also on the rise. Salute by the way. Whenever that relationship fails. I never see them bounce back with something that's going to get Shorty upset. I normally never hear from them again in the dating room. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to ever hear about DDG and his next chick. I get, I'm, 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 um, well, his chick before her, her. You, you know who she is. I don't. Who? Ruby. I'll talk to you, DDG. Who, who, who was the chick before her? I'm afraid that we view that differently. And there was a whole lot going on with Edward. She was doing clout chasing to their relationship. Well, Ruby is a hustler and 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 a business owner. Mm -hmm. Who was the young lady before her? I don't know. I'm just saying. That's what know. troubles me. That's what troubles me. Good luck, DDG. But see, like, like, why does it matter about who was his ex? Like. Some of these things, I don't see why is it relevant to know this about DDG for real, for real. Like, it's cool to say, like, yeah, you don't know about what he does and what kind of name or brand he built for himself, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but you want to know about who his exes are and, and what they did, et cetera. I don't see, like, what kind of relevance that holds, though. So... Y'all comment down below if I'm missing something or looking at it wrong, but it's just I don't see like what's the real reason why he has a problem with him for real. But let's get back to the video. This will be your first and last time being mentioned on this broadcast. <laughs> the rest of eternity. As y'all see, he went on to say, who is DDG and why should I care about him? And said, why does every time they bring his name up, they attaching it to Halley? It said it is always some clout chasing stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and be real, bro, because I feel like people are trying to play DDG, bro. But DDG definitely was known on the internet way before he was with Halley. Now, granted, um, this is why people are never taking him serious as a rapper, and this is why I would never, because we all know Halley was on DD was on Disney Channel and she's been doing her thing. She was younger, but bro, DDG is a somebody out here. You feel what I'm saying? Now, I do feel like you know when they brought his name up in the blogs, it was definitely only because of her and his baby. It was never about his music. Like, that's why I tell y'all. No matter what he do, nobody will ever take him seriously as a rapper. You feel what I'm saying? Because like I said, I feel like these things, um, Joe Budden kind of went and looked up himself to know these things. But other than that, as far as the music, like I said, I'm not a fan of his music for real. Like he got some decent music though. I'm not gonna sit here and say that DDG is a completely trash rapper or whatever the case may be and stuff like that. But no, he got some decent music and shit. But other than that, uh, y'all comment down below why y'all feel like people ain't taking his music serious. I just feel like it's because of his YouTube career. Like people know him from YouTube and starting off YouTube and all the pranks and different content people was posting on youtube over the years and stuff that's what they know ddg for so i feel like that's why a lot of people ain't taking his rap career seriously for real but other than that though man y'all comment down below how y'all feel about that but with that said we're gonna go ahead and get back to the video people just gonna look at him as the guy that date hallie versus a rapper who he is or that youtuber now y'all say he went on to that brother clout chasing and i don't get that bro because to be honest with you bro ddg been had a name before her now, DDG went on the social media and said, Pump it up went go after 20 years. Old feet, Joe Budden, I'm on you. I don't be tripping about the girls saying it's because I'm used to it. It's all love. But you, English with a platform, gonna get a response for sure.
Nigga got 30 years max of life left and speaking on a relationship with people the same age as your son you don't take care of. I hope you forgot to take your magnesium pills today, you old B at Joe Budden. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro, that shit just really made me, like, you should just blew me, but that shit was so lame and corny. Now, I'm gonna be real. Um, the, like, I don't get the age joke. Like, bro, he's 44, like, I don't, like, I've never been a fan of the whole unk thing, like, bro, okay, he's 40, we get it, like, I don't get, like, why is that an insult? Like, thank God he made it to 40 years old. A lot of people, especially black men, aren't even making it to 40 years old. But I do get what he's saying about speaking on relationship things. But it is possible. I don't even think it's that. I just feel like it's because, too, the younger generation, the older generation is always bumping heads. Like, you see it every day on social media over sports or any topics about anything. Like, the older generation, I don't know what it is and why but with the younger generation the same thing vice versa they just bump heads like the way i look at it it's pointless to get in these interactions with people because at the end of the day people is going to believe what they believe and stand on what they stand on and that's just it is what it is you can't tell somebody what they should believe in or know etc cetera, etc cetera. so it is what it is man that's why some of these um interactions on social media i be seeing is just crazy and people be going overboard with them and stuff and it just get out of hand and they just start disrespecting one another insulting each other and just going crazy in the comments like some little kids for real but other than that man i don't know what it is though man so i feel like that's just what it is it's just they don't know how to talk about things with one another on social media so it's just crazy on there but other than that, we're going to get back to the vid. So, it made sense. That's what's all in the blog. Of course, you're going to speak on it. Now, let's going to be real about this Pump It Up thing, bro. Um, with all due respect, no matter what song you drop, DDG, bro, Pump It Up going to always overtop any song you ever drop. No cap. Your biggest song, Pump It Up, you would never have a song that's as big as Pump It Up. And I ain't even talking about number one. We're talking about impact. This is why I see it. I'll definitely give Joe Budden that, too, for sure, because at the end of the day, Pump It Up has been in movies. So, but that said, man, that's legendary right there. Your old song got put in a movie and it's been known for decades. And no matter what, it's, it's legendary. So, with that said, y'all comment down below how y'all feel about it. But with that said, I'll definitely give Joe Button that for sure. I ain't, like I said, I'm not no hater of anybody in this video. Like, honestly, I just don't know why these two got a real beef, though, for real. Like, this shit went left out of nowhere. Like, I don't see why Joe Button had to say some of the things he's saying the way he said them. But at the end of the day, that's just who he is. So, with that said, I don't see why people would have a problem with DDG defending himself because if somebody's talking about him, you gonna, why would I just sit back and let that person say stuff about me and then not say anything back? Like, come on now. Y'all already know how that go though, man. So with that said though, man, it is what it is. It's just crazy, but let's get back to the vid. Everything, everything like Joe Budden is more hip hop than you. So like you can have a song with a trillion streams and Diamond Platts, but it still ain't gonna be a bigger song to pump it up. Like, I'm sorry, it just, and I know y'all don't like what I'm saying, but it's just facts, bro, because it's Joe Budden we talking about, like, you, you cool, bro, like, but let's not do that. Pump it up, you grew up listening to Pump It Up. You probably was in your room dancing stuff, listening to Pump It Up back in the day. A lot of right. people, we all know you got served to Pump It Up. Like, come on, bro, that's Joe Budden. No matter how much people talk about him, Joe Budden is a legend, period. No matter how much y'all want to talk about him, that's just the actual fact. And, bro, rich as shit, bro. After rap, a lot of rappers be broke, bro. That man got a podcast that's very successful, and he like the one of the top five podcasts on Spotify, like especially when it comes to black credit. So, I got to give him credit for that. And now Joe Budden responded and said, "LOL," the simple LOL, and said, "I love this place," because he really don't care. You feel what I'm saying? And to be real, you shouldn't either, bro. Like, bro, that we we, we are content creators. I know I ain't on y'all level. You know what I'm saying? At least not yet. But bro, we content creators, bro. Don't let like why does what Joe Budden say bother you? Like, no matter if you got a platform or not, you're still rich outside of what Joe Budden said. What Joe Budden said, don't stop your emotion. You still DDG, you still got the youth, bro. So what he's saying don't matter, bro. Like, that Joe Budden, let him talk, bro. He always talking about somebody. He always mad, bro. But he don't mean no harm because I'm pretty sure in person if he saw you, he'll give you number respect. Nah, nah I feel like like I said, it's the way he talked about DDG. It's like 
like he said earlier in the video, who is DDG and why should I care about how he feel? It's like when you start saying something like that, it just sounds like you got a real problem with that person for real. So I feel like that's where DDG coming from. But y'all comment down below how y'all feel about it. But I honestly just feel like that's where it's coming from, though. So I don't know, man. Y'all comment down below how y'all feel about it. But that's pretty much the end of the video, man. That's all I'm going to uh, have y'all here for because I don't want to make this video too much longer than it is. But with that said, though, man, that's pretty much the end of the video. Y'all comment down below how y'all feel about this whole situation. Do y'all feel like... DDG is in the wrong or do y'all feel like Joe Budden is in the wrong or do y'all feel like there's no right side in this situation but other than that that's pretty much the end of the vid if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you don't forget to smash that like button and don't forget to also subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys get notified when I drop new videos with that said though man that's the end of the vid and I'm gonna catch you guys later on with more so stay tuned peace